Just wanted to say real quick before we actually got into the video is congratulations to Planet Coaster for having its one year anniversary. Uh, I'm very impressed, kind of, that it's gotten this far. Um, and, you know, it still has kind of a long way to go before it's perfect. But as of right now, I generally think that this game is very good for what it is. Uh, and it's only going to be better in the future, hopefully. And rock on to Frontier for making a good spiritual success successor to Rogue Tycoon 3. And may many more happy years come from Planet Coaster. Who knows? Anyway, so let's jump into this, in this video and enjoy. All right, and here we are with another time lapse, and today I'm making a side friction coaster. Yeah, I'm starting a brand new park. Go figure. Uh, I decided to start a new park because, like I said in the last couple of videos, I was like, "Those are more test videos." I'll start getting a little more serious by the third one, and you know, I am. And what better time to start with the new update? And this new update brings a side friction coaster, and I'm like, "Hell yeah, let's make a side friction coaster." I decided to do a side friction coaster because, well, first off, I like them. I've always liked wooden roller coasters, so side friction coasters have their own nice little unique charm to them that I've always liked, you know? Like, they're simple, they're kind of crude, but they can also be, like, unique because they're one of the oldest, or no, if not the oldest type of roller coaster on the planet of the Earth right now, which is kind of cool if you think about it, but at the same time, it's like, eh. Nothing too special. They're just a simple roller coaster. It, you might you better be off just running a junior coaster or I guess a, a, an RMC or a, a GCI or any type of roller coaster that isn't a side friction anymore, basically. Because they're all newer and more updated, more modern, less clunky. You get the idea. Side friction coasters, they just, I don't know, they have a certain appeal to me that I just always liked. I don't know. I'm, I, I just have just a little bit of a sucker for them. I don't know. I'm not saying I'm get I get like excited, but I mean I'm just like okay, cool. They're they're probably one of my more favorites, along with um, Intamin prefabs and Megalites. They're probably one of my more favorites because I don't know, just something about them I like. Granted, I've never ridden um, a Megalite before, but I've ridden, I've ridden a prefab. Anyway, we're, <laughs> I'm getting a little off topic there, but uh, back on topic here. So the idea for the side friction came about like i said with when i saw the anniversary update actually came about i knew about the side friction was coming so i was a little uh excited for it along with the intimate rocket coaster and some other third thing i can't remember yeah this update's really great anyway uh <laughs> it might sound like i'm actually kind of like being a little sarcastic and saying like oh yeah the update's great blah 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 but in reality i kind of hate it i do like it it's a nice anniversary update it has a lot of nice changes to it that not only what what people or sandbox people like but with what people who play the game casually like too like uh, scenario editors or people who like playing objectives it's a good update overall for pretty much everyone it, it's a good jack of all trades update where it caters to everyone who has who likes to play simulation games sandbox or whatever i've always i've always appreciated that type of thing when those uh, type of updates come out that might not be geared towards what i like but what be what will be good for everyone you know, like more coasters for everyone who wants to make XYZ. Or different scenario editors or scenario options so people can have more fun. Different challenges, more scenarios in our uh, in the campaign. You know, there's there's more here to like with this new update. Which is always nice. It's it's always a nice positive that I like to look out for, really. With, um, with games, really. So this part of the uh, side friction, I've, I'm a little... On and off about uh, more specifically what I'm doing right now uh, it it came out okay I thought it could be better I just need to think about it a little more about what what could what could probably make it uh, a lot better or a lot more exciting to go through that this side friction might be a little more heavily themed than other rides I would normally do uh, there might be a lot of buildings around it and a lot of like uh, land formations really not really fo foliage won't be maybe the big focus of this one which is always a good one. I mean, it's always a good creative way. Just try to stray away from foliage. And the ratings are never really that good, but that's okay. Ratings don't necessarily matter in this game too much. Uh, if if you're playing like if you're playing like objectives in the app and sandbox, it's like who really gives a crap, you know? As long as it looks nice, I <laughs> I guess, and it's okay. Um, and one thing I neglected to talk about for a little bit actually was I did use the four meter method or the four foot whatever method, and 
to be quite honest, it's kind of like it was a little bit of a habit I had. Like I got used to that, um, and I just didn't really think about not doing it that way. I wanted to do it. I wanted to try to do it normally. I just you know just make it big long pieces or sections of a ride. So just doing each little individual piece and then smoothing it. But yeah, oh well. I managed to actually smooth it once, and it looked pretty smooth already, except for like one little part. So I was like, oh okay, cool. Uh, but I did it a second time just in case, just to make sure, uh, and to make it like look, look less janky and look more like scenic, I guess, instead of like just crazy. <laughs> As you can see, I'm just trying to like straighten it out here. Uh, I should have done it. I should have done it with uh, angle snapping because again, it is just a side friction, it's nothing too crazy, so it doesn't really need to be like off, off, um, off balance with everything else. But that's okay. That is my alarm going off. <laughs> Oops. That's a first. <laughs> Again, ratings aren't that great. It went up, it actually went up a bit, but other than that, it kind of just stayed the same. And now I'm starting to do the park entrance, and that will be tackled more next time. Um, I, right, right now, this episode is all about really relating the groundwork of what the entrance of the park will be like, more or less. And here, here, I'm doing like a bit of a parking lot. I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna touch on that more next time. Uh, but as of right now, it's just like it's just gonna be there, all bare bones and just nasty kind of looking. It's gonna have like the yellow lines in the middle, probably some dash lines. I don't know, but it's gonna make it. It's gonna make more sense why that's there later on. It's gonna be even bigger too. I might expand that more. Uh, and this is just a way just to walk over to there, to the entrance itself from the parking lot instead of just walking where the cars would normally come in. So I'm just gonna do it like that, and the park entrances are. Um, I like to make those kind of simple. I'm not really too keen on making them like extravagant and like crazy. That's kind of like I like the I like the coasters and the everything else around it to do that for me instead of just having it be like, here's a nice extravagant park entrance and then here's just like everything else. I feel like you get more disappointed as the park goes on. I don't know. Um, in this game, it wouldn't matter, but in real life, it's like, I don't know. <laughs> it's one of those, like, oddities that I have. It's just, I'm just a unique person, I guess. And I like to experiment with, uh, or I like to really use the snapping for the paths, because paths in this game are a little finicky, in my opinion. That's, that was the only thing I was kind of hoping for, maybe, like, some better path navigation. Or, I'm sorry, not path navigation, but more, like, better path controls. I don't know. It's just, that's my only really big nitpick with the game, was just, it's just the pathing. Um, issues I have sometimes and even like different different ways I do it or I watch like tutorials or or whatnot or I discover new things I'm like oh okay but it's, it's still there's times where as I have a bit like I have a couple of problems when I connect one path to the other like I don't know I'm just I'm just still getting used to it after literally about a year of playing I bought this game literally I think the day it came out um, I wanted to support it but at the time I was I had RCT world hopes kind of on for it right now at the moment but once it actually came out uh was released last year i was like damn okay this is actually really cool so i, I bought it and i don't regret it actually i really don't i really genuinely think this is worth it it was worth the purchase <laughs> so i already logged in about 300 hours on the game in about a year's time anyway so uh, as of right here i was this, this is what i was kind of talking about like paths are a bit finicky in this game like I understand because there's really no grid. There's not, there's not really a grid system for pathing, so it's either like it's not like RCT or anything like that. It's just all free form or freehand, really, which is okay. Uh, but like I said, there's really no assistance other than doing the grid selecting. Which if you do grid selecting, that only expands on the path that you place. It doesn't expand with everything else. Like it won't connect to another path when you have this grid on, when there's two different paths that are placed on different, like, places. I don't know, it's it's really bizarre, but, again, there's other times where it's, like, it's not so bad, like, how I just got it. Um, so, I'm going to probably just make the station, and then that will probably be it for this episode, unfortunately, but uh, there, will, there will be more to come uh, eventually. Uh, just be patient. I will have plenty more of this time-lapse build, and... Like I said, as time goes on, I will hopefully try to make it more higher quality and a little more entertaining to watch this type of thing. Uh, right now, I'm just trying to like, like still get kind of get used to it, but this is like my first major build, or my first major like YouTube build, really. 
that I'm trying to go for. Just trying to get back in YouTube a bit here, have a little bit of fun while doing this, and... But yeah, that, that should be about everything so far I have in this video, so I will see you all next time for another Planet Coaster, and have a great day.